here we have a very simple setup, uh, saturated salt solution. And I've added a few drops of indicator, which is green in neutral or basic and pink in acid. Now here we have the anode, or the red, or the positive lead. Here we have the cathode, or the black, or the negative lead. Now this is direct current. It's not alternating current like there is in a household. This is direct current. So we're going to dip these electrodes into the water, and you can see and hear hydrogen bubbles being formed at the cathode, and chlorine bubbles are being formed at the anode. But there's something else happening here at the anode. The water is turning pink. And this is hypochlorous acid, an acid made from chlorine. So when we dissolve the salt into the water, it dissolved into ions, positive and negative ions. The negative ions were attracted to the red lead, because the red is positive, and the positive ions, which are the sodium ions, are attracted to the negative lead, the black lead, because opposites attract. So you see here, and I'll focus the camera, a little better on the dish. You see here how the positive side has turned pink. Now let's put the chemical formula here under the camera. HOCl, hypochlorous acid. It's an acid made from chlorine. Here is ordinary table salt, sodium chloride, and here is how it dissolves in the water. Sodium ions are positive and chlorine ions are negative. Now here's an interesting verse in the Bible. Salt is good. Mark 9, chapter 50. Salt is good. So here we have salt in the water. And we need salt for life. Salt is what God, one of the many things that God has provided for life. For example, there's salt in our tears to kill bacteria in the eye. When we work hard in the hot sun, there's salt in our sweat to kill skin bacteria that would cause skin infections. The Bible says salt is good. Salt is also separated into sodium and chlorine ions in our body. And the sodium ions control our thinking processes and our heartbeat, and a number of other ions work in the same way, but sodium is one of the many ions that control the actions of our nerves, which control the heartbeat. And chlorine is formed into hydrochloric acid in our stomach for the digestion of our food, of course, far more powerful than this hypochlorous acid here at the positive end of the dish. All these things are to maintain our life. There's an interesting verse here in Mark, chapter 9, verse 50, salt is good. Let's read it. Salt is good, but if the salt loses its flavor, how will you season it? Have salt in yourselves and have peace with one another.